basically all of you know 2004 was spent on fertility treatments and by the time that year was up and the insurance company was actually telling me you know you've done enough um, I started getting to the you know stage of you know what is the next step how are we still going to have a family I think there's a lot of reasons that people end up going into adoption, and I think that it's really helpful for people to acknowledge, I want this child, I want this for me, for my family. And that doesn't mean that I'm doing something that's bad in the world or hurtful to people. It just means that I also recognize that I have an investment in this and that I'm getting something that I need. It was primarily selfish because I wanted to be a mother, period. We needed to be a family, in my mind. That's why. It didn't have anything to do with providing a home for a little lost soul. It was about me. When people wonder about what selfish means in terms of adoption, I think they tend to take a very um, limited perspective of what that term means. They think of selfish as good or bad. Any words, they, they sort of look at it as a pejorative um, kind of term that's used to describe someone who's doing something bad and that no one would ever want to be described as selfish. And the difficulty with doing that is that whenever we try and resist real terms that really do describe what we're doing, we've also decided to deny parts of, of our feelings and our, our hopes, our dreams, our actions, all of those things. That she has changed my life in millions of ways and all for the better. Uh, so in that way, you know, perhaps selfish, uh, but but it's a mutually beneficial relationship uh, that I think, and it's love. I mean, it's, it's a genuine love. I, I can't imagine that, that there's a, um, a criticism of that.